three, two, one, go. Let's go. I remember this song. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. <laughs> uh, such a blessed song. Anyway, thank you, guys. Thank you for clicking on this video. So I'm doing a, a series that is called Putting on the Full Armor of God. And this is part, part five. And um, I'm just uh, teaching every Christian why they need to put on the full armor of God. And what Paul was trying to say in Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 12 to 20, I think. Yeah, so... um. Yeah, so we're going to go to part five. I've talked about the four, which is truth, righteousness, shoes, and shield, like belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, shoes of uh, spreading the good news of peace, shield of faith, and then the fifth one is drum roll. I wish I had the... The effects of the drum roll but i don't know to do i don't know how to do that yet yet but it's gonna be interesting when i know i'm gonna use every sound that i know <laughs> okay so um and so verse 17 it says and accept salvation as a helmet salvation as a helmet helmet so what did they use helmet for in war? What did they use the helmet for? The helmet was used. Here we go. To protect the mind. Not the mind, like the head. <laughs> the head from actually not even straight bullets or anything. But from, you know, in war when like, like there's a bomb or something, the fragments that's what the the helmet is used for they use it to protect themselves against these fragments that keep coming at their head so you need to protect your head so that's why they put on the helmet from these things that are flying from war and so um so what is salvation so in acts uh when paul and silas so there's this Swahili song that goes like this. I'm going to sing this Swahili song. I'm Kenyan, so I, I speak Swahili. It says, Paulo nasila wali omba milango ya gereza. It means Paul and Silas prayed until the gates of the, 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 the prison, all the gates opened. So anyway, so when the, these gates opened, this soldier was like, oh, what happened and so he was like you know i'm gonna kill myself because anyway i'm gonna get killed because all these people ran away but when he was about to kill himself paul like say don't hurt yourself wait we are still here and uh, i think that is acts chapter 4 verse 12 i don't know wait <laughs> i don't want to see i don't wanna i don't want to quote the wrong scripture let's confirm Wait, no, I think, wait, it's Acts, wait, no. <laughs> so it's Acts, wait, have patience, guys, I'm sorry. It's, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's Acts chapter 16, 30 to 31. And so the guy is like, wait, you guys are still here. And so he goes to Paul and says, what must I do to be saved, please? And then he said, they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. So we learn salvation means believing in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord Savior. That is what it means to be saved. Being saved means believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. We also want to learn something else. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. It says, now that's the scripture I had wrongly quoted. It says that, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. 
so we know to be saved so that I can say I receive salvation is Jesus. Salvation and Jesus go hand in hand. What must I do to be saved? Believe in Jesus. There is no other name under heaven provided that we must be saved. Only the name Jesus Christ. So he says put on salvation as your helmet. So the helmet is uh, the purpose is to protect your mind from all these flying things. So um, what is I what I, I put in what was put in my heart is that in this age that we live in, there's so many new things coming. Everything is just flying. There's new ways to be saved. Hmm? New ways they say you can do this to be saved. There's new there's this new age preaching which I used to believe in. There's this new age preaching that's saying, Oh, it's all about being good, it's all about you know. It's all about being, 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 being. But we know salvation is all about Jesus Christ. Without Jesus, no salvation. Jesus, salvation. No Jesus, no salvation. So protect your mind. Protect your mind by knowing what it means to be saved. What it means to be saved, it means that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, not by works, not by doing any other thing that any other person is saying, not these new age things that are coming up, that it's about the energy, I don't know, it's about what you do, it's about being good. No, even Jesus said, why did you call me good? None is good but God. We are not good. Jesus saved us. That is what that is what it means to be saved. So there is no other way. So put on your helmet of salvation. Protect your mind. Protect your mind and know. Put it in your mind. Let it register there that salvation. What does salvation mean? Being saved means that I have to call upon the name of the Lord as my savior. Hence, I am saved. So Paul is saying, Accept salvation as your helmet. So do not accept all these other things to come and you know when those fragments when they fly, they stick in your mind, they stick, 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 and then you start thinking, Oh, maybe I don't need Jesus. So there's this new way. So I can find Jesus this way. Nope, you can't. The Bible says clearly, nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which they must be saved only the name of our lord jesus christ hey deep things here so there's no other name put on salvation as your helmet know the only way to be saved not by works not by the new age preaching only Jesus Christ is the way to salvation. Put that, is, that should stick in your mind that the only way to be saved is through believing Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Nothing. Only Jesus. So, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you so much. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for watching this series. Honestly, I pray that God will bless you greatly with these words of wisdom and that God just put in my heart. I'm also preaching to myself. As I preach, I'm preaching to my heart too. So uh, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's go to part six. Oh, do I have patience? I do. So thank you. God bless you again and again.